Aloha and welcome to part three of our three-part series on treatment and control of little fire ants in Hawaii. This program focuses on little fire ants or LFA in the Hawaiian environment. And one of the things that makes it especially challenging is that LFA can live in trees and shrubs, making them even harder to control. The Hawaii Ant Lab has a special gel bait that's effective for treating in trees, shrubs, rock walls, and generally a lot of areas above ground where LFA like to nest. Unlike granular baits that are meant to be used as is, there are products that are suitable for mixing into this gel bait formula. Let's go out into the field to find out more. Tango is an insect growth regulator that can be incorporated into the Hawaii Ant Lab's gel matrix. It is basically a birth control for ants. Provant is a toxicant bait that can also be incorporated into the Hawaii Ant Lab's gel matrix. As opposed to Tango, which is a growth regulator and sterilizes queens, Provant is a toxicant bait that will kill queens. When it comes to treating the trees, you can use something uh, such as a Zep spray bottle. And this would be to apply the Hawaii Ant Lab gel bait that we talked about earlier. Besides a spray bottle, larger pump up or lever type sprayers can also be used. A D2 spray nozzle is effective in spraying thick liquids. Here Cameron shows us how to remove the wand and replace it with a D2 nozzle. When applying the gel bait, you want to be broadcasting it as best as you can. This is the wrong way. What you have here is one fat glob of gel. Only ants in this close area will be able to find that. This is the correct and most effective way to apply the gel matrix. Instead of a fat glob, you want a long running squirt. Lots of little droplets spread out throughout the entire trunk system. In part two of this series, we learned that broadcasting granular baits for maximum coverage gets the best results. Similarly, covering lots of area up in the trees is best. Squirt or spray the gel bait for maximum coverage on the trunk and branches of trees. Be sure to avoid flowers because the gel bait can have a negative effect on bees and other pollinators. When mixing the gel bait, you want to be sure to mix all ingredients very well. Add xanthan gum slowly and have a good blend of all ingredients in the gel matrix to avoid clumping and clogging of your nozzles or spray tips. It is always important to use the proper protective equipment. For a lot of your gel or fire ant treatments period, it's required to use pants, shoes plus socks, a long sleeve shirt, chemical resistant gloves. I always make it a habit of using eye protection and the hooded hat. The sun is out so I'm going to treat my trees for little fire ants using the Hawaii Ant Lab gel bait and I'm starting to put on my protective clothing like Kiyoshi said. But before I go let's summarize the key points of part three. For LFA bait needs to be applied not only on the ground but in the trees as well. Hawaii Ant Lab has developed a gel bait specifically for this purpose. Tango and Provant are products that can be used in the Hawaii Ant Lab gel bait matrix. Tango can be used around edible crops, but Provant is only labeled for ornamentals. Avoid clumping by mixing xanthan gum slowly into the gel bait and be sure to broadcast the gel bait for maximum coverage. Apply products safely in accordance with the label. Use personal protective equipment and clean your gear properly when done. 
Do not apply gel bait to flowers as it can be harmful to bees and other pollinators. This concludes part three of our three-part series on proper treatment methods to control little fire ants in Hawaii. It's hard to cover everything in a short video, so I encourage you to continue with your own research. But I hope this provided a good basic starting point for your learning. Thanks for watching. Thanks for helping to control invasive species in Hawaii. Don't give up the fight. Aloha. Ahoy ho.